problem with being a YouTuber is that you don't know if you're in focus half the time. So, um, let's see how this goes, shall we? Hey, what's up guys, it's Kai. So, I thought to start this year, I would recap some important points from my last year, just so that I can look back at this and be like, ah oh, yes, that happened, that was, that was a thing. That was a thing that happened. Um, I'm awkward. I don't know if you realize. Firstly, I started my senior year of high school, or as we call it here in South Africa, my matric year. As well as matric, I was in a South African premiere of Bat Boy, the musical. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It's an amazing show. It was the best experience of my entire life, and I'm so, so thankful that I did it. I'm so, so thankful that I was given the opportunity to do it because it was um, a very professional setting. Whilst still rehearsing for Bad Boy in the final stages of rehearsal, I met a boy, man, person named Vian. <laughs> it was at a sports day actually and I really didn't want to be there but meeting him really made it worth it. So then Bad Boy opened, um, I was suddenly doing this very professional, very dark and twisted show in front of an audience with my cast members. And not only that, but Vian came to see the show. Not once, but twice. After the first time he came to see the show, he took me on our first date. And after the second time he came to see the show, he took me on my first ever second date. And on the second date is when he asked me to be his partner. And I obviously said yes, and thus began my first ever adult relationship. Yes! Soon after that, I turned 18. Not long after turning 18, Ash Hardell got in contact with me about writing something for their book. Um, at this point in time, they were Ash Mardell, so I'd like to say a very big congratulations to Ash and Grace because they are the cutest couple. Congratulations, I'm very, very happy for you too. After Ash asked me to write something for their book, they subscribed to my YouTube channel. After writing my first set of matric exams, I went to Cape Town for the first time. I met a ton of cool people in the South African YouTube community, including Kelly, I saw Michael Costier, met Xavier, who I'm still planning to work with. He's just, he's, he needs to come to PE, man. I met the Him Shoots and their little baby Gracie, who's one year old. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Literally the day after I met all these awesome people, I got my first tattoos. I got my first tattoos. I got back from Cape Town and I studied way too much for trials, wrote trials, tried to study for finals, but I studied so hard for trials that I had no more study left in me. So I half studied for finals, but I still, still wrote them, still kicked ass. I wrote way too many exams basically, but at the end of it all, I was finished with matric slash senior year, and I could officially say that I was no longer a high school student. After I finally finished with matric, I was in a Disney song review show thingy Bob. I was in a variety of different songs, obviously, but my two perks of the show was I was Mrs. Potts and I sang Taylor's All This Time as my solo and I was one of the goddesses, one of the muses for uh, Zero to Hero in Hercules. Christmas was spent with Vian and his family as we had previously discussed and New Year's was spent with my family and I began the new year with the man I truly love and all that sappy shit. New Year's kiss, blah blah blah. I was never really a sap before I met him. Finally, I have to mention when I was featured on Ashley Mardell's channel and my subscriber count jumped from 946 to 1141. That's a lot of people. Thank you so much. And as for 2017, I guess we'll see. But I'll be seeing you soon because I have a lot of free time now. Okay. <laughs> okay, this was Kai signing off. Bye!